but standing up for what's right is what the world will sell you on. But obeying God unto the righteous right. See, when you have courage, you'll do what's ultimately right. Because the world likes to play, especially the, the more we grow into, uh, the more we fall away from God, the more we create our own sense of righteousness. And what I mean by that is, you know, people understand morality, but then there's like the justification of morality, right? You know, is it really murder if, if it's in the womb? God says it's murder. If you take a life, it's murder. Yep. But the law in the world, the world's law, says, well, we're standing up for right, but it's the right we've created. You know, and so, and you can, I mean, pick a, pick a subject and they start doing that, right? Go to any country, you know, in some countries, it's, it's, it's murder, it's not as bad as maybe here in the state or vice versa. Uh, here, it depends on the state you go to. Pedophilia is not as stringent as other things. I mean, some people, pedophiles will go to jail for six months and you kill a dog and you'll go to jail for several years. You know, people are like, well, we're standing up for what's right. Well, no, I mean, God says stand up for the ultimate right. God's right, right? The, the ultimate truth. There's only one absolute truth. Whatever God says, there's no middle ground. 